july sixth saint maria goretti maria goretti was born in the year eighteen ninety at coronaldo a village some thirty miles from ancona she was the daughter of a farm laborer luigi goretti and his wife assunta carlini they had five other children and in the year eighteen ninety six the family moved to ferriere di conca almost at once after settling down here luigi goretti was stricken with malaria and died the family was then forced to move to the serenelli farm who was luigi's partner to survive one hot afternoon in july nineteen o two young maria being only eleven years old was sitting at the top of the stairs in the cottage mending a shirt when she was attacked and stabbed by alessandro serenelli the son of her father's partner while resisting his attempt to rape her an ambulance was called and fetched maria to the hospital where it was seen at once that she could not possibly live her last hours were most touching her concern for where her mother was going to sleep her forgiveness of her murderer and her childlike welcoming of the holy viaticum some twenty-four hours after the assault maria goretti died her mother the parish priest a spanish noblewoman and two nuns had watched by her bed all night her murderer alexander was sentenced to thirty years penal servitude for long he was surly brutal and unrepentant then one night he had a dream or vision in which maria goretti appeared gathering flowers and offering them to him from then on he was a changed man and so exemplary a prisoner that at the end of twenty-seven years he was released his first act when free was to visit maria's mother to beg her forgiveness meanwhile the memory of his victim had become more and more revered the sweetness and strength of her life before her untimely end was recalled people prayed for her intercession in heaven answers even miracles were attributed to that intercession and in response to a widespread wish the cause of her beatification was introduced on april twenty seventh nineteen forty seven maria goretti was declared blessed by pope pius the twelfth when he afterwards appeared on the balcony of st peter's he was accompanied by mary's mother assunta goretti then eighty-two years old together with two of mary's sisters and a brother pilgrims came from all over italy and the pope addressed them presenting blessed mary as a new saint agnes and calling down woe on the corruptors of chastity in the press theatre and cinema as well as fashion studios in our day he said women have been thrown even into military service with grave consequences three years later the same pope canonized maria goretti in the piazza of st peter's before the biggest crowd ever assembled for a canonization a number of popular canonizations of early times notwithstanding a violent and unjust death alone is not sufficient to constitute martyrdom but saint maria goretti was killed in defense of christian chastity and so was every bit as much a martyr as if she had died for the christian faith cardinal salati was of the opinion that even had she not been a martyr she would have still been a saint so holy was her everyday life we close with comments from professor plino carrera de Oliveira. among the most often mentioned social solutions for today's society the role of purity has been almost forgotten nonetheless it plays a predominant role in fact there can be no true social order without a properly ordered family and a good familiar order cannot exist unless its members practice chastity according to their states of life that is there is either the perfect chastity of single persons or the matrimonial chastity of married ones these two holy forms of virtue must be practiced and defended without purity the social and political orders inevitably fall into ruin there is no serious fight against the enemies of catholic civilization and no struggle for its restoration if the virtue of purity is not a foundation stone we should ask saint maria goretti to be our patron in the defense of purity and to help us to preserve purity and if by some unhappy circumstance we stray from this pathway we must ask her to inspire us with a real contrition and repentance as she she did with her own murderer being pure we will be the living stones for the building of the reign of mary foretold at fatima